We have our first email question. This one is from Reed. Please explain punitive damages and in what situations yes. are they applied to a verdict? Yes, that's a very good question, Reed. Uh, punitive damages are, uh, are not the, the typical situation that you're going to see. Normally, when we're thinking about your typical case, it's uh, you're thinking in the, in the realm of what's called compensatory damages. And like that term sounds like, it's to compensate you for your losses. Um, when you move into punitive damages, that's like it sounds, is for punishment or deterrent effect. So typically you're going to see something that's more of a criminal nature in order to have it um, constitute punitive damages. It needs to be something that's reckless or intentional. The most common uh, thing that we see or area that we see uh, that implicates punitive damages when you have someone that's driving drunk and then hits someone and it has an accident. Um, you would also have your assault and batteries that would qualify for punitive damages. And anytime you have that, it's not, you're now in a realm of punishment. So there's statutes in place that govern it and it's very strictly regulated on what you can do but it is more than what you would typically get in uh, compensatory damages because like we said it's for punishment and that deterrent effect so there's a lot of things that go into it but you need to have something that rises to the level of reckless indifference or intentional conduct in order to seek those punitive damages yeah, the great information here on Law Call tonight. Did you have anything to add to that, James, being, you know, obviously with your background in um, criminal defense? That was well said, uh, Ted. Ted the, 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 like I said, those guys know their business with that. But punitive damages, I'll just add, uh, is very nuanced. Uh, it, it's not something that is that is out there all the time. And unfortunately, it's been my experience that a lot of folks due to t television mostly uh, seem to think, oh, I'm going to win a bazillion dollars because I was wronged in this context or that context well as Ted articulated it, it, it it's very nuanced and what it really what really needs to be there to get that kind of, those kind of damages the compens compensatory damages are much more common and, and because of what James said, it's everybody thinks they've seen it on TV. <laughs> you don't uh, believe what you right. see on TV, the statutes right? <laughs> actually require, you cannot just plead a case for punitive damages yeah. right out of the gate. You actually have to have filed your lawsuit, the defendant has to answer, and you have to do what's called a proffer and move to amend and actually prove to the judge that you have the basic elements that would satisfy punitive damages because once someone is subjected to punitive damages, uh, it opens them up to what's called financial discovery and a lot of other areas of inquiry that are difficult and so we don't want to burden people with those types of allegations unless there is something to support it and to back it up. So there has to be an elements of, of proof that you actually have a case that would justify it before you can proceed with that in court.